Oh, welcome back to season five, episode two of the now vlog with a video that I'm sure is going to get a bunch of dislikes just based off the title and probably the content also. I can keep going. No, I think I got, I think I got a good- uh... I said I can keep going, Nick. Today I asked some of the guys, what does your home country do better than Germany? We've got Cody from America. We've got Javi from Spain. And we've got Mike, who is technically from America, but he has an Italian passport and he's been living in Italy for the past three years and he speaks Italian, so Italy is more of his home right now. So Mike from Italy. And then you got me from wherever I'm from. Guys, try not to get too worked up. We all clearly like Germany a lot because we are choosing to live here. I wanted to do this video because I just got back from the States. Everyone kind of just got back from their home countries and these feelings of, hey, what do you like better in your home country? It's a little bit fresh after coming right back to Germany. So uh, here we go. The one thing that was just great about being home and not in Germany was Nick wasn't there. <laughs> that is a lie, that is a lie. I have video evidence of you seeing uh, me in America. It never happened. I know, it's just weird. Like one thing that was crazy that I noticed literally on the, on the 14 hour drive here from Rome yeah. is when there's a speed limit sign that says 50, like the second you hit that sign, cars go from like 80 to 50. Yeah. Like, it's no joke. The thing I enjoyed the most was when Nick's in the States, he's a completely different person. It's so weird. He was like helpful. I was helpful and I'm helpful here. He's lying. What kind of shocked me when I first came here is every single time that I came from practice in the middle of the summer, August, and I rode my bike through town at 10.15, there was not a single soul in the streets. Absolutely nobody. In the middle of the summer. And that's something I'm not used to. At 10.15, I used to find a lot of people in my place. Oh, yeah. Like, everything's crowded, people are having fun, drinking something in the terraces. But here it was like a ghost town. I like this point from Javier, uh, because I do think that like Spain is more lively at night, obviously. Uh, I do think some of this has to do with us being in a small town. Sweet Michelle. There's a lot of rules. Like a real lot. Um, whereas Italy, you know, say, you know, like to, for as an analogy, like you don't, it's not really important that you color within the lines all the time in Italy, as long as you get the painting done. Right here, you need to stay in the lines all the time. American Nick and Germany Nick, two completely different people. I encourage everybody on this YouTube channel to go visit Nick in the States. His well, address, some of you have already somehow awkwardly found. Here's a classic American offer. If you're ever in Oregon, you got a place to stay. Very American. We are a little bit more laid back. Here, people seem to be upright. Even though I had, I mean, sorry, sorry, people from Germany, but in Spain we think that you guys are a little bit like square-headed. That's how you, we call you. But then I realized that here people are way nicer than what I expected. Really? Yeah. We we thought that Germans didn't even joke. Yeah. Like they are like really serious and they work and they go to the factories, they do their stuff and they go home again. But then I realized that people here are really, it shocked me. It, it turned this, things around. It shocked you in a positive way. Yeah, a positive way, yeah. When I first landed in Italy in 2017, um, a high ranking official in the Italian government who was involved in football in Italy, um, his first words to me were, Mike, nice to meet you. Welcome to Italy, we're glad to have you here. Have fun, take care of yourself, don't kill anyone. Anything else that happens, let me know and we'll take care of it. Yeah, that's what uh, Ziggy and Jordan told uh, us when we came to Germany. Yeah, just don't kill anyone, that's all. That's the only rule you have to follow. So like that's, I went from that to, I see dots on the road and I'm supposed to know that like I gotta let somebody go and if I don't, like people are staring daggers at me. It's so weird, it was like, Helpful, mostly. I made us coffee at like 6 a.m. and had to go downstairs one coffee at a time. Not very efficient, but <laughs> down, up. He even got Speedy a second one. Yeah, I made you coffee at 6 a.m. and I went up and down the stairs seven times and brought you coffee and waited on you. He came outside to help me load my bags. 
at like 6.15, he drove like an hour across Portland to come pick me up once. It was, times. it was impressive. The food in Italy, just infinitely better than the food in Germany. Like no contest, not even close. Sorry, you guys do it. Like football here is infinitely better than it is in Italy, right? That's why I'm here. But the food here, <laughs> yeah. I remember is that time, when you come here to the, to the airport, you don't hear us all. Yeah. You hear absolutely nothing. People like rolling their suitcases and that's all. In Spain, you can spot Spanish people around. I mean, it makes me feel at home. I know that we might be a little bit more rude, <laughs> but it makes me feel, it brings joy to the people. At the store, grocery store, something like that, say the Reve or the Coughlin or Lidl, okay? If you go to those stores, no matter what time, you're going to have to wait in line. You go prime time, five o'clock after everyone gets off work, there's gonna be a ton of people there and you're gonna have to wait in line, even though they'll have maybe six or seven checkers. You go at uh, like noon when nobody is there, it's pretty empty, but you're still gonna have to wait in line because they will only have one checker checking people out with their groceries. Before I came back here to Germany, I went to go do a little shopping at a store called Fred Meyer. It's like a Coughlin type store, okay? And it was packed. It was a Saturday evening, there was just Parking lot was packed, stores packed. I walked in, I remember feeling so much anxiety, like, oh, I'm gonna have to wait in line for 30 minutes to buy this stuff. And then I get to check out and I realize there's 40 people working cash registers checking out. The store is absolutely packed, probably hundreds of people in there, and it took me two seconds to check out. Okay, I know you can probably see that as a negative, like, you know, overworking people or whatever, but I really appreciated that. Not having to wait in lines in stores. Good job, USA. It's okay uh, for Germans. It is like 18 to 20 in Rome right now And it's like off and on snowing and terrible and awful here all the time. Just consistent Trash weather. It's awful. Yeah, I don't know what Mike's talking about. This German weather is awesome. So I don't know A little lot of hail. Pizza's here is bad, you know for them we are rude Southerners are too loud and we are kind of... Americans are too loud for Germans as well, I think, in a lot of respects. You guys are way more, way closer. You don't give a damn about things most of the times. And for example, Jadian said something yesterday, like it was kind of funny. If you guys speak four words of Spanish, you will say, I can speak Spanish fluently. Yeah. And on the other hand, Germans, when they make a, like a slight mistake while talking in English, I'm sorry, my English is not that good, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but you guys go like, yeah, I can speak four languages. What do you want me to say? Cacho, cacho, grazie. I speak Italian, that's all. <laughs> all right, arrivederci. I talk Italian. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. But now we're back in Germany and it's back to me having to sit here in front of you and talk to you even though I'm trying to leave and get somewhere. Um, I'm stuck talking to you because of him. Oh, Cody, you love being on the YouTube videos. The rules and like the, you gotta do this at this time, you gotta do this, like everything needs to be perfect and if it's not like, you will get like publicly shamed for doing the wrong thing. Yeah. Shame. <laughs> shame. 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 The woke of shame. Can we, can we actually put that in there? Shame. Most people know, but the one thing I, I uh, appreciate the most when I go back is being able to go like dirt bike riding, do like more extreme type sports, but with an engine that I know some people don't agree with because um, we're in a forest riding dirt bikes, but you know what? I, I love it. I think it's a blast. So, I mean, I, that's what I appreciate the most when I go back. I get to go with my family. Um, we go and do that and I really enjoy it. Food better in Italy, weather better in Italy. You liked uh, the Christmas market. I did like the Christmas markets. Christmas market? Okay, Christmas markets were cool as hell. Yeah. Blue Vine was awesome. Okay. Um, and I think that was a really good way for me to just like, boom, hey, I'm here. That was your first impression, Jeremy. Yeah, I mean, it was two days after I got here that the Christmas market got set up. Yeah. And that was really cool. And so, everybody was still here, yeah. which was awesome. And then, yeah, and then I just went through like, a dark like month and a half. <laughs> Mike, I think, just had a tough time over winter because he came into Germany with just a really just just splash. Christmas markets, awesome. He thought everything was so cool. Everyone was still here, so we had a great time. And then the Christmas markets ended and everybody left and he was just here in Schleswig Hall in the winter time by himself. So his view is a little bit skewed. Uh, I think that he's gonna start to like it more and more throughout the spring and the summer. As it stands right now, I don't 
think it really feels like home. So I don't know if I would. I mean, I'll I'll grind out a couple years for the corns, but I don't know if I'll uh, if I can really see myself staying here afterwards yet. Right? I've only been here a couple months. It's all been in the winter. Um, so hopefully, like once the season gets going, once summer comes, we can, you know, I can manage a little bit better. So he's right back to being back. So you would say <laughs> America does now better than Germany does. <laughs> America definitely does now better than Germany does.